The Mad Bean Afterlife is an optical compressor based on the John Hollis Flatline. Rather than squashing down an extreme transients and then applying makeup gain to the entire signal, it just applies the gain when the signal goes below a certain threshold. It's fairly subtle and due to the optical nature of the circuit, it has a slow attack, it feels smooth with less than even volume fluctuations, and it adds a smooth sustain to your notes. I'm going to be demonstrating it through a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, recorded with a Red 5 RVD9 dynamic microphone straight in front of the speaker, combined with a couple of impulse responses. I'm going to be using a 1989 USA Fender Stratocaster Plus and a 2007 Epiphone Les Paul Custom. The controls are about as simple as they come. Volume and compression, here respectively named Chub and Tuck. Now first, here's the clean sound. And now with the pedal engaged, with the compression set to a very subtle 9 o'clock. Now with the compression turned up to 12 o'clock. And now up to 3 o'clock. And now finally with the compression fully turned up. In the documentation for the pedal, some part substitutions are suggested for more sensitivity, or even diode substitutions, but I decided to go the stock route. You can hook up your own LED and photo cell combination, but I decided to go with the VTL 5C3 Factrol, as was recommended in the documentation, which has the entire optical part of the circuit in one neat little package you can just solder right in. The build does not require a ton of parts, and it has a daughter board with mounted pots for easier assembly. Beware though, it is supposed to go into a 1590A enclosure, which in my opinion never really makes for an extremely simple and easy build. But given that warning, it is another very well designed board by Madden, as expected by now.